History of Ozzy Osbourne's guitarist in 60 seconds, go. After success with Black Sabbath, Ozzy Osbourne was fired from the band in 1979. Ozzy settled on former Quiet Riot guitarist Randy Rhodes. Unfortunately, in 1982, Rhodes was killed in a plane crash in Leesburg, Florida. Filling the void from here was Bernie Torme, and was eventually replaced by Night Ranger guitarist Brad Gillis. Gillis eventually left to return with Night Ranger. At this time, George Lynch was a roadie for Ozzy Osbourne. Unfortunately, Jakey Lee, formerly of Rat and Rough Cut, was ultimately given the job. Following the Ultimate Sin Tour, Jakey Lee and Ozzy Osbourne parted ways. That's where he found Zach Wilde, and Ozzy brought him on for his first show at Wormwood Scrubs Prison. But around 1994, they indeed parted ways. Ozzy then started a project with David Lee Roth and Whitesnake guitarist Steve Vai. In June 1995, Ozzy featured former Testament guitarist Alex Skolnick. From here, the job was given to Joe Holmes, former David Lee Roth band member. But around 2004, Ozzy recorded another cover album. This included Jerry Cantrell. Eventually, Firewind guitarist Gus G was hired immediately after auditioning.